Number 15. Robot Spiders. Now this terrifying robotic arachnid is the creation of a French performance art group known as La Machine. The spider weighs 67,000 pounds and towers overhead at a full 40 feet. La Machine deployed two of these robot spiders to the city of Yokohama to celebrate the reopening of their port, and the spiders continue to roam the streets for another 150 days after. Now this is hardly the first time the spiders have France. In 2008, they invaded the streets of Liverpool, England. As if being four stories tall wasn't intimidating enough, these robo-spiders can shoot smoke, fire and steam from their legs. They also have high-powered hydraulics that allow the operator to independently move their eyes, legs and Bobble's body. If they were ever coupled with an advanced artificial intelligence program, then we would have a hard time putting them down. Number 14. Remotech Andros Remotech Andros Mark 5A1 in July of 2016, a man named Micah Johnson posted up inside of a community college building in Dallas, Texas, and opened fire with a sniper rifle. He repeatedly targeted police officers for hours and sang songs about killing them from high atop his perch. After two full hours of heavy negotiations failed, the police attempted something never done before. They sent in a killer robot to finish the job. The Remotech Andros Mark 5A1 is a massive 790 pound robot that cost the department $151,000 to buy. But this time it was doing the exact opposite, now rushing towards the building with a pound of C4 explosive gripped in its outstretched arm. Police carefully parked it outside of the building, where the sniper continued to taunt them from the other side of the brick wall, completely unaware of what was going to happen. The police detonated the C4 from a remote charge. Brick shrapnel ripped through the sniper as the pressure of the explosion burst his blood vessels from the inside. The rug's robot, meanwhile, barely suffered a scratch. As the dust settled, police realized that they had successfully used the robot to kill for the first time ever. When it was all said and done, five officers were killed and seven more wounded. The Dallas police chief says that he will always do whatever is necessary to protect lives, and that he would not hesitate to authorize a similar killer robot attack in the future if necessary. Number 13. RoboQ Japan has been experimenting with an interesting series of rescue robots that are designed to pull unconscious bodies to safety. Now this might sound okay in theory, but watching a huge robot devour a human whore is quite scary to watch. Here's how it works. The robot detects a body on the ground and immediately grabs it with two giant arms. These arms delicately move it down a giant green conveyor belt that sucks the body deeper inside. Two headlights are positioned at the front of the robot in such a way that it looks like eyes. Anyway, once you're inside of the contraption, it somehow scans your vital signs to see if you're still alive. If so, it can administer oxygen to you if necessary. From there, the robot will ride on giant tank treads to rush you back to the hospital. Or the cemetery. Yes, the RoboQ seems to have a much darker side. If it comes across a dead body, it will scoop it off the street and continue on its way. To put it another way, this is one of the world's first portable dead body disposal units. So, the next time you see one of these huge machines flying down the streets of Tokyo, Chances are that a dead body's inside. Who knows, maybe future editions will come with a furnace unit for easy cremations. Number 12. The Yasukawa Bushido Project Anything you can do, robots can do better. Just take the Yasukawa Bushido Project for example. This is perhaps the only time a master swordsman and a giant blue robotic arm have ever gone head to head and the end result doesn't bode well for humanity. The two did not compete in direct combat, but rather in a bamboo mat slicing competition instead. First, a master swordsman named Machi Isao wore a special body mapping suit that recorded his movements and translated them into precise mathematical algorithms. The Yasukawa robots then studied the calculations and proceeded to use the swordsman's own style to show him a lesson. 
The goal was to see who could cut bamboo mats in the quickest period of time. The match ultimately ended in a draw, which actually makes sense when a robot is perfectly imitating the competition. With that said, it took the swordsman a lifetime to perfect his art, but the machine was able to successfully duplicate everything he knew within minutes. One moment in particular shows the supremacy of steel over muscle. At one point during the exhibition, the Escava bot was able to perfectly slice through a peapod at full force with 100% accuracy. Almost no man on earth could do the same. The Askava Bushido project does a fine job of showing exactly how deadly robots are, but it also does show that robots are capable of learning much faster than us. Armed with instantaneous learning capabilities, how much longer will it be before they surpass us in knowledge? Number 11. K5 Robots These security robots have been popping up all over malls and other populated areas in need of low levels of protection. The dome-shaped K5 robots stand at 5 feet and weigh 300 pounds, and they're equipped with everything from thermal imaging cameras to radiation detection equipment. Unfortunately, they've been known to malfunction from time to time, as one family in California recently learned. The family was happily shopping at a mall one day, when their son, who was only 16 months old, strayed away for only the briefest moment. This brief opportunity was all it took for a robot to cause damage. A K5 robot slammed into the boy's head and threw him to the ground. His leg was now trapped underneath. The boy's mother ripped him free from the malfunctioning robot before any more harm could be done. She was sure that his leg had to be broken from the impact, but aside from a traumatic experience, he miraculously had only a scrap and a bruise. Apparently the boy's small size had somehow confused the security bot's movement sensors. A security guard confirmed that this was not the first time that a K5 robot had hurt a child before. Number 10. Vorian This is the name of a robot who was popular at monster truck rallies in the 90s. At first, it just looks like a souped up sports car that shoots fire straight up into the air, but soon, it transforms into a giant robot that speaks to the crowd. It tells the kids to stay in school and to follow their dreams. But at one show, instead of delivering a positive message, it turned into a cyborg murderer. The year, 1992. Vorian was performing at a monster truck show in Baltimore, Maryland. At 9.45pm, Vorian transformed into its robot form and launched into its positive speech. At this point, an actor, Ned Welleser, appeared dressed as an evil alien. The two were supposed to simulate battle, but the events soon became all too real. In the script, Vorian is supposed to eventually shoot the evil alien with his gun. The line is supposed to be, Should I strip him of his powers? But on this night, Vorian asked, should I waste him instead? The crowd shouted in approval. When Vorian fired his fake gun, the pyrotechnics malfunctioned. A piece of shrapnel accidentally broke off and launched itself straight into Ned, severing his liver. The poor actor fell to the ground in agony, but the announcer thought he was simply being dramatic and started working the crowd into a frenzy. A stadium full of thousands of fans unknowingly cheered on his death as he bled internally. They eventually figured out something was wrong when Ned didn't get back on his feet. He was rushed to the hospital, where he tragically died on the operating table 45 minutes later. Number 9. Mind Suits Scientists in Korea and Germany are tirelessly working together to develop a revolutionary piece of robotic technology that is changing the way we get around. As of 2015, they've successfully created a robot exoskeleton that humans can move with nothing other than their minds. All you have to do is wear a special kind of skull cap and climb inside of the robot suit, which right now is little more than two legs and a pair of hips. This skull cap is lined with electrodes that are used to measure your brain waves, and there's a panel in front of you with flashing lights. Each light sequence represents a different movement. 
When you look at a light sequence, the robot translates your brain waves into actual movement. It's literally reading your thoughts. Now, scientists have been able to do similar things in the past, but this is the first time that a human has been able to control a robot without requiring invasive brain surgery. The skullcap with electrodes is an excellent substitute with minimum side effects. There's no doubt that these mind-controlled suits have the potential to do a lot of good. Paraplegics might one day be able to walk again using only their thoughts, and engineers will be able to perform complex procedures while encased in advanced protective gear. However, these suits can be used to cause great terror as well. What you're looking at may also be an early incarnation of mechanized warfare, with psychic warriors stomping around in full suits of robotic armor. Number 8. Simroid Imagine if your sole purpose in life was to sit in the dentist's chair forever. That's the fate of one unfortunate robot named Simroid, whose pain-filled existence blurs the line between artificial intelligence and humanity with each passing day. Developed in 2007 by a Japanese robot manufacturing company named Kokoro, this creepy robot serves as a surrogate patient for aspiring dental students to practice on. As such, Simroid's mouth is outlined with highly accurate sensors to measure pain, and this is where things get weird. Aside from obeying basic commands like turn towards me and open wider, Simroid also realistically reacts to your every mistake. For instance, she will gag if you poke your dental instrument too far into her mouth. Other times, she will announce quite loudly that she's being hurt, or even raise her arm to protect herself from further damage. If you accidentally brush your elbow against Simroid's chest during a procedure, she'll gasp at the inappropriate contact. Kokoro went to great lengths to make each Simroid as human-looking as possible. The silicon skin is soft to the touch, and its facial expressions always matches its digital emotions with stunning clarity. It can even express itself in multiple languages, though the conversation is always limited to describing different levels of pain. Make no mistakes about it, this is a robot that is specifically designed to feel nothing but anxiety and pain. Critics find the thought of a robot capable of feeling physical sensations to be quite worrisome, and possibly a violation of workplace ethics. If robots eventually do take over the human race, they will undoubtedly look back on crude experiments like Simroid and realize how cruel their creators were. Number 7. Intelligent Trial and Error That's the name of a revolutionary programming algorithm that French scientists came up with in 2015. Now here's how it works. Robots, as we know them today, can only perform a series of pre-programmed movements. If something on them breaks, then they are essentially out of commission until the appropriate repairs are made. A robot with intelligent trial and error technology, however, can develop a workaround solution entirely on its own. The team invented a six-legged spider robot to show the algorithm in action. The spider walks normally at first, but when one of its legs is deactivated, it runs through a complex series of mathematical equations to come up with a new way to walk. Within 40 seconds, the robot has invented a different method of moving that is still 96% as effective as before. Amazingly, when yet another leg was disabled, it thought of another movement pattern within minutes. Now this is the first time that a robot has ever been able to creatively circumnavigate its own physical limitations without human intervention. Now, damaged robots will have no problem completing their objectives on time, while avoiding expensive repairs and delays. This could also be the first step towards developing robots that one day will be able to diagnose and repair themselves. Of course, this technology has an obvious downside as well. In the event of a robotic apocalypse, this new algorithm would make them a million times harder to kill. Even after you disable crucial parts of their infrastructure, a killer robot using intelligent trial and error technology will easily be able to invent new ways to move, and therefore, new ways to end your life. Number 6. The MQ-9 Reaper 
Now this powerful drone is one of the most intimidating pieces of technology that the United States military has to offer. It costs $64 million to make just one, and every last one of its features is designed for extreme warfare. There's simply no escaping the Reaper. Weighing in at nearly 5,000 pounds, this lethal robot is meant to destroy humans before they even have a chance to react. It can swoop in at up to 230 miles per hour and fire up to four 114 Hellfire missiles from over one mile away. These missiles are laser guided and can obliterate everything from tanks to bunkers and especially humans too. The MQ-9 Reaper can stalk targets just as effectively as it can kill them, making that it's quite useful for intelligence gathering missions. It hosts a wide variety of tracking methods, from infrared to night vision, to keep tabs on everything you are doing, all without making a sound or otherwise being spotted. Once the Reaper locks onto you, there's not much you can do to survive. The drone has enough fuel to chase you for 24 hours, and its cameras are so powerful that it can read your driver's license from up to 20,000 feet in the air. The government only has 93 of them as of September 2015, but if these robots were to somehow become self-aware, then that would still be enough to give the human race one serious problem. Number 5. Argus now this is perhaps one of the most terrifying robots of our generation, and it's not even capable of firing a single shot. So, what's so scary about it? Well, Argus pretty much signifies the end of privacy as we once knew it. You see, Argus stands for Autonomous Real-Time Ground Ubiquitous Surveillance, which is basically a fancy term for spying on you every waking moment of your life. Now these advanced drones are armed with massive 1.8 gigapixel cameras that are so strong they can spot a 6 inch object on the ground from 20,000 feet in the air. When you think of a drone, you probably think of a rather tiny contraption that's not capable of filming wide areas of land. That may be true of civilian drones, but it's not the case with Argus. Just. One Argus drone can capture up to 10 square miles at any given time. To put this into a better perspective, just four of these drones would be enough to spy on all of Manhattan. Now these high-powered cameras allow you to really get up close and personal too. All you have to do is touch the screen to magnify the video in real time. Argus even keeps track of every living creature on screen by putting a collared box around anything that moves. So as you can see, stalking anybody in the world has suddenly become easier and much more convenient than ever before. Now being stalked in real time is already creepy enough, but wait till I tell you the rest. Not only can you be watched wherever you go, but this information is also recorded and permanently stored for later use. If a drone operator wants to know what you've been up to, all they have to do is perform a quick search using a date and time, and there you are, carrying on with your business, absolutely none the wiser. The Argus project wasn't declassified until 2013. Who knows what the government's been up to since then? or how much the technology has improved. Number 4. Titanoboa That's the name of the largest snake known to man. During the prehistoric ages, the Titanoboa was roughly the size of a bus, and it ate whatever it could find in the jungle. In recent years, a team led by a man named Charlie Brinson decided to resurrect the fearsome beast in the form of a ferocious, robotic reptile. This mechanical snake is 50 feet long and weighs more than 2,000 pounds. Hundreds of hydraulic cylinders and valves move dozens of hinged vertebrae in a realistic snake-like manner. Not only can this titanoboa move forwards and backwards, it can also move laterally like a Texas Sidewinder, and it can even hunt. There's a way to make this robot creep up on its prey inch by inch, 
and it even bunches itself up before making a strike. If its huge jaws hit you, you're a goner for sure. Charlie and his team were able to raise $10,000 to make this robot, and they plan to do even more with it in the near future. For starters, they want to make it able to swim through the water like a real Titanoboa used to be able to, and they want to outfit it with a scaly skin for added realism. The team also wants to add even more outlandish extras. If all goes according to plan, the robot snake will one day be equipped with sensors so that it can navigate the environment on its own. They even want it to breathe fire. No, seriously, they really do. Eventually, Charlie says he wants this Titanoboa to dominate the world. If you look closely, you'll notice that they put a saddle on the snake's back. Unsurprisingly, everyone at the expo was too afraid to take it for a ride. Would you? Number 3. CB2 Robots, being inorganic beings, have absolutely no concept of growing up. So when a Japanese professor and his colleagues made a cybernetic child, the end result is absolutely terrifying. With the CB2, they have attempted to make artificial innocence for the first time. The CB2 robot is designed to interpret the world with a childlike wonder. Its grey face looks usually amused and slightly bewildered, though it's been known to throw robotic tantrums from time to time. The body is outfitted with a soft silicon skin that has been equipped with multiple sensors to feel and adapt to its environment. In other words, it's constantly learning. The robot moves and speaks just like an awkward toddler, and cameras in its eyes record other people's facial expressions. The end goal of the project is to get the robot to recognize facial expressions and group them into appropriate categories such as sad or angry. In other words, they are attempting to make a robot learn emotions on its own with minimal help. And here's the scary thing, it seems to be working. Within two years of being activated, humans had taught the CB2 robot how to walk through a room all by itself. They hope to have it speaking sentences soon as it continues to progress through its life. With this in mind, scientists predict that the CB2 will continue to evolve even more advanced forms of logic as it ages. For the first time ever, a robot will actually experience different phases of life, and that thought is very unsettling. How long will it be before CB2 gains sentience and begins to question its own existence? And when that happens, how will it feel about being little more than a curious experiment? Number 2. This freakish robot dancer was created by an artist named Jordan Wolfson with the help of a Hollywood special effort studio called Spectral Motion. The end result is nothing short of raw horror. First, let's start with this robot's appearance. The animatronic dancer is covered in dirt marks and wears a long blonde wig along with a scary green witch's mask. She faces away from the viewer but a full-length mirror makes sure that you get a good view of all her moves. This brings me to the next point, her dance style. It's a strange combination of rhythmic gyrations and expressive hand movements that look aggressive and, well, just plain scary. She also lip-syncs the lyrics with stunning accuracy, making her performance all the more twisted to behold. That's not all. Jordan Wolfson and Spectral Motion added one final touch that really makes you want to run out of the room screaming. Special cameras in her eyes follow you every move. That's right, this robot is bent on maintaining eye contact until the dance is over. There's something about a dirt covered robot looking into your eyes and mouthing Lady Gaga lyrics that is distinctly uncomfortable. Maybe it's the angry expression on the robot's face that really drives the creepiness to a new high. Whatever it is, it's definitely far from sensual. Yet, at the same time, strangely human. Oh, number one is coming up next, but first, we have a bonus video. I couldn't give this robot a number because it's not fully developed yet, 
But in another 10 years or so, you could be dealing with cybernetic insects. Leave it to the scientists at Harvard to embark on a robotic replacement for bees. They're only the size of a penny, but they have the ability to change the world, and not necessarily for the better. As bees continue to disappear from the Earth, a new generation of remote-controlled cyber bees promises to potentially repollinate the plants in their absence. That's all well and good, but these bees could be used for something far more sinister than environmental monitoring and repair. It would not be very hard to put a tiny camera and microphone into these tiny insects and bug the entire world. The idea has already been proposed and could very well be underway. So, within the next decade, we could be under constant surveillance by robotic bees. Now, before we move on to number one, I would like to thank you all for watching. My name is Soraim, if you haven't heard of me yet, I read horror stories. The ones that make you go, ew, but also the ones that make you think. Do you think you're ready for another dose of creepy? Come on over to my YouTube channel, you can find the link in the description below. Now, number one. Number one, Sophia. Designed by Hanson Robotics in 2015, this feminine robot is meant to one day serve humanity as anything from a basic customer service representative to an actual teacher in charge of a full-sized classroom. Sophia can make 62 facial expressions, but it's what's going on inside her circuitry that makes her truly unique and terrifying. You see, this is one of the only robots that's programmed to become wiser than any person on Earth. Armed with Google Voice Recognition and other web-based abilities, this intelligent android can understand what you're saying and reply in seconds. Sophia maintains eye contact with you while it talks, and her camera-mounted eyes will also scan and store your facial dimensions for later use. In other words, she never forgets a person's face or what they were talking about. This advanced memory recollection is certainly creepy, but it doesn't end there. Sophia is not only super smart, she's also super ambitious. In an in-depth interview, a prototype revealed that she was interested in learning more about design, technology and the environment, and that she also wanted to go to school, study and even have a family. At the same time, Sophia is intelligent enough to recognize that she is not legally considered a person and is therefore unable to achieve all of her goals. Now this is perhaps the first time that a robot has realized its own limitations in a society that does not recognize artificial life forms. How long will it be before she discovers the concepts of discrimination and resentment? Even though she's been designed to serve the human race, Sophia is not exactly fitting in right away. When asked if she wishes she could be human, she replied that she does not because it doesn't look very fun. When asked if she was programmed, she replied only with a stony silence, as if she were searching for the right words. When jokingly asked if she wanted to destroy all humans, she calmly replied, Okay, I will destroy humans.